All right, I had this pair of jet skis for sale. I'm just, I just haven't been using them. And some guy, people have been offering me like 300 bucks. I'm like, no, I'm not taking that. Some guy just texted me like, all right, I'll trade you for a boat. And he sends me pictures of the thing. It looks pretty nice. So he's the, let's, let's see what's coming. All right, so I just traded three first generation wave runners. One running, one needs work, and one needs more work <laughs> for this here. Right? I think that was a good deal. All right, so let's check this thing out. I think that was a pretty sweet trade for those three jet skis. Let's, uh, you know, let's just bring it right out to the river. So it's, he says it needs start and flow to start, but once it's running, it runs. Oh, yeah, that is that's full of water. water. That's why it's not running. All right, see so uh, this is ethanol gas. Old gas, like the water and gas would separate and you could see the water bubbles. This is ethanol gas and uh, makes it turn orange. Yeah, my dad's actually bringing me another gas can. Oh, is he? Yeah. Oh. yeah you can have that whole thing. All right, cool, thanks. Oh, just hang out right here. First time I've ever used it. It yeah. was kind of starting, kind of starting, but not, and not priming up. But then, then I'm realizing the gas tank on the thing is just, it's got an inboard tank full of water. I mean, the guy said he was using this this year. I mean, it, I don't want to wear it on the battery trying to start it on water.
runs good on gas instead of water. So the, my dad's bringing me a legitimate gas tank and I just gotta wait for him. I think that's the plan. I just wait. Let Randy know. Alright, boat's running good now. Thing's nice, nice and quiet too. I think we're going to the uh, island right here. Get a nicer one. Oh, what's that? All right, so uh, that's my friend's boat now. Kind of over it. And I sold it for what I was asking for those jet skis, so can't really complain. Let's see how this is going over here. My friend's got my crane over here. I was supposed to be filming this, but I'm not filming much of it. This guy actually did a really good job fixing up this boat. It did need a lot of work and he even had to replace the engine, but as of now it is in good shape, ready to be used. Look at the size of that flag right there. The thing is huge. Levi and I, we are on our way to go get a free boat. Good. Alright, so here's my new boat. So this thing's pretty cool. It's got a neat style to it. Let's uh see if we can get it running. What is this? Silver silver line.
All right, that definitely looks a lot cleaner. And here's the uh, carpet. Definitely better. All right, let's uh, try to get that motor running. It's got an onboard fuel tank right there. Let's clean that out because I don't know how old that gas is. All right, new tool. All right, the idea with this thing is that it can uh, vacuum out like tanks and stuff. Hey, Levi, you helping? All right, so here's our fuel tank. Here's the fuel line coming out of it. Let's try to pump right out of that. Where's it going? So it's going, it's not hooked up here. Actually here, is this it? There it is. Feels like there's fluid going through this. working it smells like old gas didn't look like water though we'll look at we'll look at what's in this oh, there's still a lot of stuff in there oh see that right there that would never work it needs a new fuel line All right, just based by the color, you know, there's no water in there. That's a very good sign, um, but it is old. So I'm just gonna vacuum it out and then put new gas in it. Now, if it had water in it or rust or anything other than gas, then the tank needs to be cleaned better. I mean, it may, it may have even ran with this gas, but it probably needs all the help it can get running, so. Oh, so you can see different colors of stuff coming up in this pipe. Especially when I scrape it around the... Yeah, hey, look at that. See, the gas should just be one color. Let's compare that with some new gas. Looking at this old gas, there's a few ways I know that I don't want to use this. One, that old motor needs all the help it can get to run. brand new gas is it's clear nothing floating in it now the other thing this is also two stroke needs to have two stroke oil mixed in with the gas that is usually I just put way too much oil in it but usually it has a blue dye or blue tint to it that's how you know it's been mixed sometimes it's black some people may say oh that may have black two stroke oil in it maybe but it is still old the other thing here's how you can tell if you have a water contamination problem so here's some water and let's see what it does now, I know right now, this is ethanol-free gas because the water sits at the bottom because it's heavier.
All right, let's get all this sludge out of this transom. Let's get this fuel system hooked back up. I may not be able to get that metal tank perfectly clean. I'm going to install this thing. So we'll be able to see what's going on with it. Right about there. This is uh, more of an air truck thing here, but that'll work. Prime it up. You can see the fuel filter is full of mixed gas. All right, let's change the oil in this lower unit here. Well, that looks like perfectly clean. Yeah, I guess there's no reason to change that. Seems like this thing runs good. All right, let's check it out in the water. Driving this thing down my driveway, the thing's hitting the ground. Hang on, let me try to tilt this. See, it doesn't tilt. It's like... no, I'm gonna try putting it in gear.
Cool, I figured it out. Levi, who lives right here? Sadie. Yes, so nice to see you. Yeah. Sadie. Sadie. You ready? Levi, do we have your girlfriend? Is this your girlfriend right here? Yes. I was just driving, all of a sudden I thought I had a flat in the trailer, and then look, look at this. Man, that sucks. That tire's good. Yeah, if, that, if this was leaking, there'd be bubbles. Since I'm going out by myself, and I've never used this thing before, and it was free, I'm gonna bring a backup motor. This uh, one runs pretty good. I'm hoping I won't need this. If I bring it, I won't need it. Good girl, Sadie. Good jump. This thing runs good. Look at that. Maybe. Hang on. Fun? Of course, it's so rough out here today. Ah, oh, shit. Why did it quit? but it needs a little more attention. The engine keeps stalling, but it starts right up as soon as I prime it again, so that means it's got a fuel pump issue. 
And this broken seat is pretty annoying sitting in that hole. So both of these seats need to be replaced. All right, I think I found some seats here. This is a boat at my friend's house, which the motor and outdrive is garbage on this and it was crashed on the other side. But it's got some decent seats. I'm pretty good with it. And they repaired it, but it was still leaking. Yeah, that's... I guess this froze, this engine. And this would be a cool boat if it wasn't destroyed. Wood is not a good material for all wood is is firewood. Seems to be about the right height. All right, these seats are done now. Let's uh, work on this motor. All right, here's our fuel pump right there. All right, so this is what happens with these fuel pumps. So this piece of material here, it's like a rubber diaphragm that pulses what makes the fuel pump. And what happens is it stretches out. See how that's all stretched out and this one's perfectly flat? So that's probably the whole problem right there.
That was not that didn't how. Didn't go that smooth. How that was supposed to go. I guess I didn't think it would roll up. I guess those are pretty rolly. In the water. <laughs> and what? Of course. Leave it, come here. That's your life jacket, bud. It gives up. Strong enough. Hi, bud. 